Here's how it went down, though, in EMX 250 race one. Lots of bar banging going in, but everybody through safely at turn one, I think, for the first time all weekend. Roman van der Moestrijk didn't make a bad start look. He was about uh, just outside the top ten as he ran down into turn one, so he must have had issues on the opening lap. Facchetti led, but before the end of the lap, the 132 of Carol Kutzar was through into the lead. Rosrame was in third, but just taking it easy, just learning the track. Made a move around the outside of Facchetti to go second, then had his eyes set on the race leader. 132 of Kutzar. The pass didn't happen initially, not for another seven or eight corners, but once it did, that was Rosrame going through on Facchetti into second. Dylan Walsh down the inside of uh, Brian Moreau. Moreau hanging on for just a little bit longer, but the main championship rivals, Brian uh, Martin Barr, Dylan Walsh and Mel Pocock were all pretty much locked together in around 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th place. Walsh eventually did run up the inside of Brian Moreau, or was that a replay again? They did find their way past, and then Pocock went past Brian Moreau and Dylan Walsh, and that put Pocock towards 2nd uh, in the championship. Mikel Harp here, number 11, ran the outside of Glenn Mayer as he fought to get on terms with the leaders. Dunn then found his way past the fading Brian Moreau. And Moreau was having a... And, uh, sorry, James Dunn was having a great ride, though, on that 252-stroke KTM for GL12 Racing. Found his way past Dylan Walsh. Walsh eventually dropped down to ninth as Harrop, another rider who came charging through. Kevin Hortmo also made his way past in the closing stages of the race. Harrop made his way around the outside of Dunn. And that was for sixth. But with a lap and a bit to go, Basrame finally made the pass on Karol Kutzar to take over the lead. Meanwhile, oh, heavy landing there. Pocock, who was in fifth place, a let-off for him because Harrop was ready to pounce. He stalled the engine, dropped a couple positions, came home in seventh. But it was a win for Mateusz Basrame. Kutzar was just 1.4 second back. Fiketti, Barr and Pocock, your top five. Mateus Basarami, congratulations. Perfect timing and a great move on Kutzer to get your third race win of the season. Yeah, it's a good start and a uh, good feeling for my bike. And uh, the track is difficult, it's very, uh, very hot. Uh, and uh, and good start. Maybe uh, maybe slow uh, slow two, two laps, three, uh, and good uh, good race. I am happy. Thanks, my team. Thank you. Early family. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to